Okay, so now we've got our top five. We've got Crash Bandicoot, Pikachu, <laughs> Banjo, and or Kazooie, Sonic the Hedgehog, and... <laughs> People are like, how is Pikachu still in? <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I mean, it's an it's easy five. True. It's an easy number five. Yeah. Um, okay, number four. Although I do feel like maybe Sonic is five because Sonic is I'm... actually trash. He's just <laughs> iconic. <laughs> He's yes. iconic trash. Very well put. I think he. I think Sonic is four. You happy with Sonic there at four? I think Sonic is four because yeah. See, see, I just I think, think I just mine. think that that Sonic had a more unique like move system of movement that mm. like is isn't paralleled by any other game whereas crash is kind of like more generic platformer That's whereas true. like sonic is like all about speed and like going through the loop-de-loops and like yep. you know being a hedgehog spiky that like it's really cool so that is <clears throat> such a good point and i'm going to use that and agree with you as my reason why he should be low on this list what because it is so it feels so bad when you stop being speedy and rolling, yeah, you have screwed up in that level. He's and the, never like, had tedium, good momentum. Like, you, yeah, the idea of like the difficulty of using that momentum in a game is like, how do you make an in, a level that is both interesting because you can move through really fast, but not just like an autocomplete level? It needs to be you hit a spike, you fucking spring back. Yeah, I've never, I've never, no, but that's because and those were ones where you play. had to learn the level so that you knew where all the spikes were. And learning a level is different to getting good at the controls and being able to run through a level and be like well I can take everything you're going to throw at me you can't in Sonic games predominantly because they're off screen and they're about to come flying at you and right. you're like, boom and you're like ugh 